Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to our Sunday night mixed media background. So this is a new series, I guess, that I started. What I'm going to do is do a mixed media background um, on a Sunday night and then on Monday we will use it because basically we are going to um, let it dry. Okay. Um, so I have the, I don't remember if I named this something cute or not, but it's the Mermaid Scale um, stencil from Scrapping Reflections. I have pink, blue, and purple ink, uh, raspberry, bluebird, and grape. I have my blender brushes, and I also have some Fallen Snow Glitter Glaze. So I've got my stuff. Let's see what I can do. Right, guys, so I sped this bad boy up um, a good amount because it's basically me doing this for, it took me about 11 minutes to ink this up and nobody wants to watch me ink for 11 minutes, right? Um, unless that's your thing. If that's your thing, let me know and I will just do ink videos. <laughs> Okay, I promise I won't just do ink videos. All right, so I'm taking that pink and I'm gonna go ahead and put this across the top. Now, I was thinking that I would have this kind of blend in and blend out in a variety of colors. So I wanted my pink and my blue and my purple. I wanted them all to blend into each other at least once somewhere on this page, right? Like, I just wanted that blend. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm gonna do my blue. I'm going to overlap into the pink a little bit. Um, that way it just, it just blends a little bit nicely, right? Like I'm looking at the, I'm looking at the background now, you guys, and I am ridiculously happy with how this turned out. Like ridiculously happy. I don't even know what I'm gonna do to this. This is the problem with backgrounds is sometimes you make them and you love them so much. It's like, why do I have to cover this up? <laughs> um, so yeah, that that is that is a problem sometimes. So now I'm gonna bring in that purple and um, like I said, I'm I'm blending and mixing. So my blends are not long and drawn out blends. Uh, meaning that it is not this, it starts, there's only a little bit of pink and then it blends and then it goes to another one. It is definitely um, like a short blend. I hope that that makes sense. <laughs> hope that a short blend makes sense to you guys. It makes sense to me. Um, so hopefully it makes sense to you. Okay. So as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and add on a little bit more color um, that I've already put down um, just because I want a little bit of a darker presence, right? Um, and then I decide that I need to have a, the pink a little bit darker up here as well. I want light pink and dark pink. And it was I was feeling very monotone in my coloring. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and bring in that fallen snow glitter glaze. And I was like, I was like, okay, do I want to put it on the whole thing? Do I want to put it on most of it? And I decided to put it on most of it. So what I'm going to do is use that silicone brush and just pull it down. Um, and then as you can see, some places have more glitter glaze than others. Some have very small amount. And then I thought for an extra little bit of sparkle and shine, I'm going to put on some Ornament Gold Chroma Mist. And this is from Brutus Monroe. And I love this stuff. So I go ahead and sprinkle the heck out of it all over the backgrounds. And then I'm going to peel off my stencil. Now I did pixie spray this stencil um, so I wouldn't have to worry about uh, movement. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh! stencil reveal. So there it is. Here's a couple of close-ups. Um, it's still wet in these close-ups. And then uh, remember guys, come back tomorrow and we will actually build a layout. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you guys again real soon for another video.